is 704, so I will call the meeting to order. Uh, we have one item on our agenda tonight, which is an application by Henry DeGue, Jr. Uh, for site plan and conditional use review of a request of an unlisted use to construct a single family home. And um, representing the applicant tonight, we have Chip DeGue. Are there anyone else that is interested in this, this um, application that wants to be an interested party? Um, if not, uh, yeah, I guess I guess that would be myself. And myself is whom? Uh, this is Steve Morse. Okay, uh, Steve, are you interested in being a um, um, term? Tom, <laughs> party status. Party status. Are you in party status? And party status really means um, that you are not only do can been do some presentation, but if you don't agree with the decisions of the board, you can appeal the decisions of the board. So, um, are you seeking party status, Steve? No, no, uh, I'm not seeking party status. Uh, basically, what I am just seeking is trying to find out where. Uh, in relationship to my land, uh, this, uh, uh, you know, the chips thinking of putting in the house just so I can gauge uh, accordingly on my end. Okay, well, uh, you're welcome to participate in this hearing. And um, um, if you decide to change your mind, let us know and you want to be a, a, a participant. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do start by um, uh, swearing in the applicant and anyone else who wishes to testify. And Steve, if you wish to testify, you need to raise your right hand. And since we can't see you, we're going to have to take your word for it. <laughs> and for that matter of fact, I can't see Chip either. Um, you swear to tell the truth, nothing but the truth, the matter before this board tonight, under penalties of perjury. I do. I do. I do. Thank you. I think we have three I do's. Yeah. Uh, so, um, Chip, yes, you were starting to tell us, and now is the right time to tell us, uh, with an overview, because we have specific criteria that we will go through, but it's good for us to understand where you're doing, what you're, where you're doing things, what you want to do, and so forth. Um, so sure. Give us an overview of the project. Sure. So it's a single family dwelling uh, with an attached garage, and uh, Steve, it's right across from the, uh, the church and the, the pastor's house on Warner Road. Um, just to give you an idea where it is. Um, and so it's just, it's, there's, uh, the, the lots that are there are, uh, two, three, and four. So I should be lot four, um, lot two and three will stay the same. That's where, uh, uh, Kim Johnson's building is on Warner road. It's the Brown building on the left. If you're driving from airport road down Warner road. Um, so there's basically there now, there's a, the church, the Wells Church, the uh, parsonage, I think that's the right word. Uh, my brother's house is down near the end of Warner Road. So this is just a lot that's on that road, um, which is in a light industrial uh, district. Um, but that's where we're planning on putting the house. Chip, can you can you talk to about the subdivision or lack thereof? I know we've tried to find some paperwork. Right, there's there's an old, old drawing. I I, um, I don't have it in my stack of stuff now. Um, I believe we're gonna we will go through uh, that to have it recorded. Basically, what that's going to end up is as on the drawing is now lot two and three will remain as a single lot, be retained by Henry Lagu Jr. Uh, lot four. Uh, will be purchased by the Hoffmans, um, one of which is my daughter. And uh, then the rest of the uh, so-called Kelly Farm, whatever you want to call it, 60-something acres will remain as it is now. Um, and there's the town sewer is right there. Um, we've applied to the state uh, for the a and um, approval. But we do have a, an allocation from the town, and it will be hooked to the uh, town sewer. Well, I'm not sure about water yet. Um, we talked a little bit about it with Tom as a potential 
maybe moving the or running the town water down there but i just i have no idea what that cost would be so uh potentially just a uh a drilled well on the lot so i i have a question chip because i'm still sure. trying to visualize where this house will be is it as you okay. go down warner road will it be on the right or the left the left left it's, it's almost yeah, so are, you've been down there in the summer? I, yeah, I went down there, and it there lo looks like there are three houses. So where is it in relation to the three houses? Um, it'll be, there's it's actually down there, there's a church on the right. Then yeah. there's a next house. Yeah. It's almost directly directly across the road from the second house. So it's up, up, okay. up near the top. Of the road. Yeah, okay, great, thanks. Mm -hmm. And And... You're muted, Carla. If you go to the state of Vermont parcel viewer, you can get a great shot of all this. So, so Bob, I just um, want to reiterate that because the um, status of the they need they need to go through a subdivision. So, what what the board will really approve tonight would be the the change or or the unlisted use. You you will not be approving the the single family home at this time because it's not on a they need to go through that subdivision. Okay, so that's not an approved subdivision. We, we can't Correct. find record of it. There's no record. There's no record of being recorded. There's many drawings of it, but there's no no record of it. So the uh, and that process requires approval from the DRB or just the zoning administrator. DRB. Yeah. So so if we choose to approve tonight, it still needs to come back again for the subdivision itself. Correct. Okay. So again, can we, approve, can we approve tonight if it's not official subdivision? You, you what you're doing is you're approving the the the, the unlisted use. Okay. Uh, of that's what you're approving tonight. Okay. That's really bef what's before the board tonight. This is an unlisted use. Um, uh, so unlisted uses are covered by section two zero zero five C. Um, where the board has some some authority, some prerogative here. Uh, this is not listed as a um, permitted use or a conditional use. Neither. Um, and this is not the first time this has happened to us. This is uh, we had one previously where we had different circumstances, but we had a residential mm -hmm. application in, in a light industrial district. So, um, so what we're doing here is approving the use. We're not approving the building because that still needs a, an approval of the subdivision and obviously it needs approval of the zoning administrator for the building itself. So there are other steps to be taken, but I think probably from Chip's point of view, this is the first step that he needs to take and otherwise the rest are, are needless. Um, Correct. So um, Chip, so uh, tell us, um, uh, you've read the ordinance, I trust. Um, Tell us uh, how you feel this managed to fit into the criteria of the ordinance, the, um, why the board should allow this as a, this residential use in the light industrial district. Right. I'm, to be honest with you, I, I was kind of surprised it wasn't in there. It used to be listed as a conditional use. I know my brother's house is a conditional use. I assume the, the other one is too. Um, but um, until... Uh, the big white house at the top of the hill um, was demolished. Um, Steve Parks lived in a neighboring uh, lot. Uh, my parents' house is right down there. The top of call trail is, uh, is a residential. So there is quite a bit of residential. Uh, we understand that um, if a development, you know, something uh, – permitted under light industrial could go in right next door. And, and that's, that's kind of the risk you take. So there's, you know, there's, there's no question about that. So, I mean, other than that, it's, there's more houses than there are light industrial in that area. And like I said, until I'm not sure when it actually changed, but they always used to be, well, I shouldn't say always used to be, but used to be that um, residential was a conditional use in the light industrial district. It, that changed in uh, 2019. Um, okay, uh, you do have you have first this testimony. 
Uh, we probably should go through that testimony um, uh, so that you need to paraphrase it or just refer to what you've given us in writing. Uh, but so you require conditional use approval. Um, yes. I, I'm not sure what the protocol here is, and maybe Tom or Carl can help me. Uh, do we need to find that this is a, um, a, a reasonable use in this district first, or is that part of the conditional use review process? That's part of the conditional use process. The recipe is go through the conditional use, hear what the applicant's um, um, statements are, and then you make a determination if, if it makes, if that use is, makes sense for in that section of the town. Thank you, Tom. Um, so that's where I was going, but I wasn't really sure. But um, so um, speaking to the uh, criteria then for a conditional use review, which I will now dig out. Um, and I say you've addressed them, but uh, the first has to do with the uh, capacity of community facilities and uh, utilities. And if you had asked you right. address them. Sure, sure, no problem. So 3302 um, is that section, um, uh, basically a single family home, um, you know, wouldn't have much of an impact on the local schools, may actually help the uh, student population. Um, very little effect on, uh, you know, police, fire, ambulance service, the, the road is very flat, the access is very good, so that won't, you know, have any problem. Um, not going to affect any, uh, parks or recreational facilities. Um, the sewer disposal, like I said, is, um, you know, the town sewer runs right through the lot. So, um, hooking up to that, uh, won't be, you know, a problem or, and stormwater system because it's, I mean, it's, it's a house on a, on a, on a lot that'll either be grass or plantings or trees, um, should mitigate you know, any real stormwater issues. Um, traffic wise, um, you're at, you know, we're adding one house, a uh, couple cars here or there to uh, Warner Road. Um, so again, not, not generating a lot of, a lot of activity. Uh, character of the area, actually, as I said, uh, character of the area is actually uh, uh, more residential, even though there is a nice new building right up on airport road going up. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's actually more residential than it is light industrial in that area. Um, uh, no significant natural resources in the area. Um, energy conservation. I mean, the, the house would be built with, you know, uh, energy efficient stuff because can't afford not to these days. So um, whatever is required. Uh, I'm not sure. I know as they do go through the house, they're they're working with uh, the builders to you know make sure they have insulation and all that you know good stuff. Not so. I think that, I'm not sure if that exactly answers all the questions you you have, but um, it's it's hard to fit a house into some of those criteria. We do have a drawing, which I have to admit mm -hmm. I don't have uh, magnifying glass big enough to help me with it, but. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, uh, regarding the setbacks, Tom, I'm going to ask you, 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 you reviewed all those and they exceed the setback requirements. Uh, 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 it, it, again, we're only looking at the use here, Bob. So setbacks uh, will be a part of another application and which you will lot, lot, lot size and all that will be a, a separate application. Okay. So it really has to do with the use. Um, thank you. Um, do the members of the board have a question for Chip with you? I'll just add, uh, uh, Chip mentioned that he applied for a wastewater allocation from the uh, Berlin Public Work Board. He has been granted that allocation. So that was just one other hurdle that he, he's gone over to, in preparation of this meeting. Do we have public water supply anywhere near there, Tom? We do, and Chip mentioned that earlier, that um, it's uh, near the, the um, where air, um, industrial lane comes down. Uh, and it's probably several hundred feet from this lot. Great. 
Um, that's a separate, again, separate application, separate decision, um, which would be dealt with at the time the zoning administrator. So um, with regard to the use, uh, does anybody have further questions for Chip? Mr. Morris, do you have any further questions or comments? No, uh, I have no uh, no comments, and no questions. Uh, I, I see no issues uh, of any any kind on my my uh, behalf. Thank you, uh, Tom. We don't have Tom. We don't have anybody else on, do we? Uh, mm, let me look here real quick. Just Orca. No, but nobody outside of who we've already known about. Okay. Um, for some reason my screen doesn't want to respond, but, um, uh, okay, very good. Um, I think, um, where we are is as, as a board, we're going to have to deliberate this, to see how it fits into our ordinance. Uh, if no one has further questions for, um, the applicant, uh, are there additional comments by you, Tom? No, no, sir. Okay. Uh, in that case, um, I think I'm looking for a motion to close this hearing. I move to close the hearing. A second. Uh, motion's been made and seconded by, well, both Carla and Polly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to Carla. <coughs> Polly first. I read lips. <laughs> and um, uh, 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 any uh, discussion of that motion? All those in favor of that motion to close the hearing portion of this application, uh, uh, please signify by saying aye. 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 I've lost tour. I assume he's here somewhere. He's, he, no, he's, he's here. Okay. He, he was in the affirmative. Yeah. You guys can always use your um, your your cues down here, your reactions. Ah. Raise your, raise oh. Your hand. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, yeah, you basically oh, raise your hand right. that way. Uh oh, Bob's a Zoom Zoomite now. Oh he is, God. isn't he? <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, take it Thumbs down. up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. The motion is carried, and this hearing is now closed. Um, and I thank you, Chip. Thanks, Chip. Yep. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Chip. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Steve. Steve. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight. Um, we have um, other business in public uh, tonight, which is the minutes of our last meeting. So um, I'm going to ask for a motion to approve the minutes of um, March 2nd. Uh, uh, so moved. Motion by John. <laughs> Second by Polly. Fast. Um, so, any discussion on that motion? Any corrections? Uh, all those in favor of that motion, please signify, signify by saying aye. 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 <laughs> so, um, I would obtain a motion to go into the deliberate session. So moved again. <laughs> John? Second, second by Polly? <laughs> It's 723. Oh, yeah. All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 I, need, I need to move some people around. Yes, you do. Uh, we're now going to go to deliver session, and everyone else is uninvited. All right. Um, well, the deliberations will be uh, continued and, and brought into findings. Um, so, uh, the only item we have left on our agenda tonight, besides I have to pack to leave, uh, is the um, uh, rule of the minutes of the meeting of 3 2 21. And and we're, we've done that already. We already did that. that. We did that. Oh, I'm sorry. We did that. I, I, I'm, I'm reading from my script. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would just remind this board that we, we likely will be meeting for the next three scheduled meetings here. Okay. okay. We will? We will. Oh, yes. good. 
me no good. Um, if there's no other matters, <laughs> if there's no other matters to be brought before the sport tonight, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I move to oh, adjourn. Okay. Second. second. By me and John, I'm seconded by Polly. <laughs> All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 And we have adjourned. I thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good evening. See you in two weeks. Bye. Thanks, Trip, Bob.